know, I, I have so much to say, but I'll cut it down very short because there's a lot of other events and the purpose of what we are here is about this. Okay? And I want to keep it right into this. I know for myself that my first fight for me myself was a 58 boxing TV division. And I started judo, okay, all the way up until 63. And I started Kimbo Karande in 63. In 65, I was telling my brother, my oldest brother Arnold, there's nine black boys in my family. And my oldest brother, I was telling him that, you know, I like, and he used to call me, he said, everything you do is, is karate la fufu. And I said, what does that mean? He says, you stay with one system. You, if you're in Kimpo, stay in Kimpo. You're in Shoraka, stay with Shoraka. Then he started training with Kubota. And I said, so does that mean what you're doing is Lapupu? <laughs> and he said, no, because he respected. So I started, I've always liked hard styles and soft styles. In 65, at the internationals, I saw this energy. And Bruce came in, was doing an, an exhibition. And he was talking about the four finger <coughs> strike. And he had a heavy accent. So I told my brother, I said, why does he talk like that? And so my brother slapped me in the head and said, don't be disrespectful. And I said, because I never heard that heavy accent before. And he did this, he got this guy that was at least 300, 250 pounds, and he had a plate, a weightlifting plate about this big. And he put a chair and got this heavy guy with this plate on his chest and held him here. And I'm watching, I came up close to him just to see what he's doing. He put four fingers on this guy's chest with this metal plate. Now, I'm wondering, is he, what's he gonna do? Go to the metal plate? He hit this metal plate, hit this 250, 300 pound guy, hit the chair and went over it. And I said, that's what I want to do. <laughs> I want to do that. And my brother looked at me and said, Bruce Lee is only one of a kind. And I said, well, we all can be one of a kind. From that point on, I already had three to four different systems that I was already trained with. My dream was to spire against them. That was my dream. I wanted to see how fast. And I saw the speed that he had, and he had all these guys, and he was doing such, that I said, I want to do that. That's what I want to do. And so I thought, by the time in 69, I was already into, with Mr. Parker, I was already into you know, a world team, and we start traveling. I thought if I would get good enough, that maybe he would consider Okay. Uh, working, you know, working with me. That was my dream. He gave me so much uh, inspiration to go out there and just listening and watching what he was doing. I had a chance to say, it's like I thought he was the only one that understood me by mixing system. Because back in the '60s, you never mix systems. You stay with your system. But I was already mixing them. Within my, because I like hard styles, I like soft styles, I like it all, especially coming from a judo background. So, 73, full contact right in I started boxing professionally because okay, every time I hit excessive contact, I would get disqualified. And I said, that's not real. To me, it wasn't real. So I started to box professionally and then full contact right in the end. And they said, you want to fight full contact karate? And I said, what's that? What does that mean? He said, well, karate to the knockout. 
they had they had actually to represent here we had an elimination and we went to Hawaii and it was two day tournament, no weight divisions, no rules, no nothing. So whoever you stood next to, you fought. And it was elimination. Saturday I fought seven times. I knocked out seven of my opponents. But the first time I knocked out my opponent and dropped them, I turned and looked at the referee or looked at the judges and I thought they were gonna disqualify me. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm looking to see if they're gonna disqualify me. They raised my hand and I said, oh, they didn't disqualify me. <laughs> so that day I fought seven times. The next day there was four, I was supposed to fight four more. I ended up fighting uh, David Goodson, 6'3", 245 pounds. Okay. And for me, I was I was 140, 5'6". I ended up stopping him. What a great warrior, but I stopped him in the fourth. But I'll tell you what, from that point, I really thought in my mind that maybe Bruce would consider working with me. If I, if I was good enough that he would consider actually working with me, he inspired me to go out there and learn all these different systems. I have nine black belts and nine different systems, and I took the best of each one of it, and I created my own, and that's how I started Yukido Khan, meaning a way of life. Because to me, in the street, as what I heard from him, there is no rules. And going to a third world country, there was no rules. And I realized that there is no rules when you're going and actually competing. To me, it wasn't a country against country. It was just me against an opponent. And I always thought that he would consider, and when he passed away, when he was gone, people had said to me, and compared me, I said, there will only be one Bruce Lee. There's only one Jeff, but there's only one Bruce Lee. And as far as I'm concerned, he was the best. To this day, he is the best. Okay, and this truly, so I had an opportunity to work with Shannon. Sensei Benny, she's here. Oh, ah, beautiful. Everyone, stand up, please. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I got a hard hat. You have padding in there.